Hello and welcome. In this video, we will talk about uh, an example, do an example that kind of uh, wraps up a few of the topics we've covered in the last few videos. Uh, what we're, we have here is we're going to make a counter that counts how many bytes or how many characters in a string. So the program here is we need to write a program to count the number of characters in a string. We can assume that we uh, know the string. So assume uh, the string is known beforehand. And you just need to tell me how many uh, elements is that is in that string. So uh, first, we can define that string. So in our data section, we can have uh, a string. We can call it a message, for, instance, for example. And then you can say, hello, arm. And later, what we need to do is we need so how, how would we do this? And let's figure out first the logic about counting characters in a string. Uh, one way to do this, oh, I forgot here too. All right, it's an ASCII Z. So one way to do this is uh, we need to make basically a pointer that points to this message. And then we're going to grab one character at a time evaluate that character and figure whether or not we've reached the end of the string. And uh, notice here that I used the ASCII Z, not just the ASCII. If you, uh, um, if you use just the ASCII, there is no null uh, character at the end of the string. So we just use the ASCII Z. This automatically inserts a null value at the end of the string. So the logic becomes, grab one character at a time from that string, evaluate whether or not the value is equal to zero. If it is equal to zero, that means we're done counting. Otherwise, grab the next character and increment the counter by one. So uh, first thing I need to do here is I'm going to uh, make a pointer that points to the, actually first I need to do So let's do a pointer that points to message. And I'm going to use two registers. I'm going to initialize them with zero. Actually, I can use only two, but just for you can you, you can get away with using two registers. And then let's write let's write a uh, part of the code here, and then we'll go back and do the loop. So, what I would like to do is I'm going to load a byte, right? Oops. I'm going to grab a byte, uh, not a word, because I'm going to evaluate one character at a time, and each character is one byte wide, right? So I'm going to grab a byte, uh, load a byte, for example, and uh, put it into R1 from wherever R0 is pointing to. And I'm going to increment that pointer by how much? Should I increment by four or by one? Think about it. You can pause the video if you want. So I'm going to increment by one because I'm loading a byte and I'm moving the pointer one byte at a time. So first I'm going to grab the H and then once we figure out the loop situation, then I'm going to grab the E and so on. So um, I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to grab a byte. I'm going to put it into R1. And here I'm going to compare if R1 is going to be equal to the null character because I want to see if I have reached the end of this string. Now, if I did not reach the end of the string, I'm going to increment my counter by one. So I need to add one to R2. And I'm going to, uh, no, actually, I have a question for you. Is this correct? Think about it for a second. I'm comparing to see if the value I obtained is the null character. I need to add only if it is not the null character, right? If it's, uh, if it's not equal, right? I'm going to increment the counter if the Z flag is not set, right? If, it's, if Z is not set, basically, if I did not get a zero. And what do I need to do next? I need to basically return to here and grab another byte, increment the counter by one, 
do the comparison, add one to the counter if it's not equal to one, and so on, right? So basically, I need to branch. So I need also to branch back, and we can call this loop. You can call whatever you want. You can call it my loop. You can call it count bytes. You can call it call it something. We're going to we're going to branch back to that loop, and we're only going to branch back if it's also not equal. We're going to do a B and E. Uh, we're going to branch back if R1 does not contain A0. And uh, otherwise, we can continue with our program. Here, you know, goes more instructions. If this was part of a bigger program, for example, then you continue executing uh, these instructions. So, uh, oh, branch of not equal to loop. Okay. So let's download this to the board and see how this works. Okay. So I'm going to put the breakpoint here, run it to the load a byte. So I'm going to get a byte uh, from this pointer, whatever this is pointing to the message. And, uh, and I put it into R1. Uh, this is the value I got. Let's do hex. 48 is capital H. So this one has capital H. Now I'm going to compare that value. I'm going to compare 48 hex to zero by performing a subtraction, right? And obviously, I'm not going to get a zero because 48 minus a zero is not a zero. It's some positive number. It's 48 hex. So this add should work. Now, here we go. I added one to my counter. And then I'm going to branch also if I did not get a zero, which was true. So now I'm going to go grab the next byte. I'm going to grab the E. Lowercase e is 65. I'm going to perform a comparison. 65 minus 0 is just 65. So when I do the comparison, nothing has changed in the CPSR. And, you know, you continue this multiple times. Let's see where we are right now. I'm waiting to see if we have gotten... Um, so this is 41, 52... For D, okay. So I think the next one should terminate. We should have put an instruction at the end, actually. So now I have my null character right here. And when I did the comparison, the CPSR flags have changed. The add should not go up. So R2 should not increment. Here we go, it's still an A. And then this branch back to loop it's not going to go back to loop there's no more instructions here so it doesn't know what to do next but it's going to get stuck in this instruction because it cannot branch back to loop it will only branch if we did not get a zero in our bytes but we did this time so it doesn't know what to do so let's count what we got here um, we got 10 so let's count how many characters we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Okay, so we have 10 characters in hello arm with the exclamation point. And that's it. That's how we make a loop in assembly to count the number of characters in a string. Uh, you can use this method to count other things um, or perform loops for various purposes, rather. Uh, you, have a, you basically have a label. You have a set of instructions within that label and then you branch out of that loop or you branch back into that loop based on a certain condition you can perform the cmp to perform the comparison and then append those modifiers to your logical or arithmetic instructions um, to perform or not perform the instructions and then you repeat and that's it uh, thank you for watching